Good afternoon, everybody. I hope that everybody is having a blessed day wherever you are. And it's your boy Lenkwe Warrior. Kamau and I am back with another video and today's video I am going to be doing another through but Thursday review did y'all see that what it was okay I'm gonna show you what the album is this is the uh, this is the album and the lot that I am going to be reviewing today. And a lot of y'all, I'm quite sure a lot of you know who Ghostface Killer is, but some for those, but for those of you who don't know. who Ghostface Killer is. Ghostface Killer is a part of the legendary rock group Wu-Tang Clan and a legendary rapper. Now I'm gonna shit, uh, before I actually start naming the futures and the, I and the producers on the album, I'm gonna show you the album booklet and what the album booklet looks like on the inside and then I'm gonna show you what the CD looks like. This is what the album booklet looks like. As you can see. It has the name of the trucks in there. It also has a pencil on it, and as you can see at the at the end of the booklet, it has the Wu Tang logo, clan logo, on the, and it has the Ghostface Killer logo next to it on there. And this is what the back of the album booklet looks like. As you can see. It's a composition book right on the back of the album booklet and it has Ghostface Killer, the Ghostface Killer logo on right there and another Ghostface Killer logo at the top with the GK and the GK initials which also stands for Ghostface Killer and it also has the Wu-Tang Clan logo on at the bottom of the booklet and it has a red composition book in the background with the trot listing on it. Also, the art, like I told you, it has the Ghostface Killer artwork right there. As you can see, that's Ghostface Killer right there. And this is what the front of the album booklet looks like. As you can see, it says Ghostface Killer name up the top. It has the name of the album up the underneath it. And it has the GK initials right there. And it has the composition books and the pencil on the front cover with the Wu-Tang Clan logo at the bottom. This album right here came out in 2010, which was about 10 years ago. Now I'm going to tell you who are the producers where that were on the album. As far as the producers go, these are the producers that were on the album. Produced the album. Frank Dukes, Shreem, Sean Sayre. And over for grind music, Yacht Coop for Yacht Coop beats, Scrum Jones, P 
Pete Rock, Chino Mares, Bark Mizza, Anthony Osset, and also Jake One. Those are the producers for the album. Far as the futures on the album. Oh, and before I get into the futures, I forgot to show you what the CD for Archu CD for the album looks like. This is what the CD looks like. I heart the CD up that side down, but this is what the CD looks like. All right, now I am going to tell you who are all are, are, are the futures on the album. For us, the futures dot were on this album. The album futures Jizza, Killer Press, Buster Rhymes. Capadonna, Trife, Joel Ortiz, The Gaim, Block Thought, Jim James, Sheep Looch, Walks, and Sun God, Raekwon, You Got, Muffet Mon, and Rodman. Those are the futures for the album. The album has 12 tracks on it. And if I'm not mistaken about the far as like the singles the single off this album was together Baby, that's one of the singles. I don't remember what the other singles were, but that was one of the singles off the album. The first track, now I'm going to review the album. The first track on the album, which is one of my personal favorites, and one of my favorite tracks on the album is Purified Thoughts. This track right here features the Jizza and Killer Press. I like the beat on this track right here. That bit on this track is fire. And Ghostface Killer starts it off with the first verse and Ghostface Killer comes through with a fire verse on this track and and Jizza comes through with one of his best verses ever and Killer Priest also comes through with one of his best verses ever. This track right here is a banger and one of my favorite tracks on the album. This track is fire. The second track on the album is Superstar. This track right here features Busta Rhymes. The beat on this track is, uh, is banging. The hook on this track is banging. And they come through with some really dope verses. On this truck, and it takes me back. This truck takes me back to when hip hop was real hip hop, and it was about people spitting bars and true bars and true lyricism on the truck. So that's another truck that's flying on the album. Truck number three. This track right here is called Block Tequila. This track features Cap Badana and Tribe. 
cup, Badana comes through with a fire verse, Tribe comes through with a fire verse, and Ghostface Killer also comes through with a fire verse. And this truck right here is another banger on the album. This truck is a banger. And another one of my favorite trucks on the album. Truck number four. This truck right here features Joe O. Ortiz and also features the game. Also, Ghostface Killer comes through with a dope verse. Joe O. Ortiz comes through with a dope verse. And the game also comes through with a fire verse on this truck. This truck is, a, is dope. The beat is dope. And they all killed it. Trot number five. Together, baby. Which is a single off the album. Now, he does this trot solo and doesn't have no features on it. I like the hook on this trot. The singing on this trot is dope. The beat is dope. And if I'm not mistaken, this truck right here, this truck is about woman, if I'm not mistaken. And it's about being in love with a, with a female, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know for sure, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that's what this truck was about. Truck number six, Stockology. Which, if y'all don't know, Starkology, Stark is like Ghostface Killer, aka Rock, one of Ghostface Killer, aka Rock names, which is why he named this truck Starkology, which I'm quite sure is why he probably named this truck Starkology. This truck is dope. And I like it. It's not as... I don't like it as much as I like some of the other trots, but I like it. It's a cool trot. Trot number seven. In the park. This trot right here features Block Thought of the legendary Roots crew. And I like the beat on this trot. The beat is dope. I really love that hook on the chart, and this is, and and Ghostface Killer comes through with a fire verse, and Block Thought comes through with a fire verse, and I hate to say it, but Ghostface Killer got bought you know, on this chart right here, which is rare because you don't hear too many songs where Ghostface Killer gets bodied on, but Ghostface Killer got bodied on this chart by Block Thought. And it, but this trot, both of them come through with some dope verses. But in my opinion, Block Thought Heart, the better verse of the two. And this tr this is another trot that takes me back to when, real, when it was real hip-hop, real lyricism, and real, also real MCing. This takes me back to when hip-hop was real hip-hop. And it was a art when and you had to come lyrically correct on the mic in order to be successful as a rapper. And you could not be half arsing on the microphone. Chart number eight. How you like me, baby? This chart right here. Is another solo truck that Ghostface Killer did by himself on this album. And this truck is dope. And this truck is another truck for the latest. And if you like songs for the latest, you will like this truck. Trot number nine. Hong coughing them hoes. This trot right here 
Futures, The Rapper, Jim James, the legendary rap group Dipsop. I like the beat on this track. I like the the beat on this track and the verses are is dope. But I'm not really a fan of people dissing female men. I'm not really a fan of men dissing females. And song, so this is like one of my least favorite tracks on the album because I don't condone men dissing females and songs, and I don't like it when men disrespect women and songs. Track number 10 Stret Bullass. This track features Sheep Loot to the Locks, Wix, and also. Son Gaul. And they all come through with some dope verses. Ghostface Killer comes through with a fire verse. The rapper Sheet Luch also comes through with a fire verse. Wiggs also comes through with a fire verse. And Sun God also comes through with a fire verse. And this is another one of my favorite tracks on the album the next track this track is called ghetto and this track features Raekwon Capadonna and Yuga and this track right here is a banger and Ghostface Killer comes through with a fire verse. Raekwon also comes through with a fire verse. Capadonna also comes through with a fire verse. And You God also comes through with a fire verse. And this track is a banger. Track number 12, which is the final track on the album. This is another one of my favorite tracks on the album and this track is called Trouble Make Us and this track right here features Raekwon Chef on it this track also features Method Man and also Red Man and Ghostface Killer comes through with a fire verse Raekwon also comes through with a fire verse. Muffet Man also comes through with a fire verse. And Red, the rapper Rock Man also comes through with a fire verse. And this, like I said, this track right here is a banger. And uh, the, not only is are uh, the verses fire, but that bet. On this truck is also fire. Now, if I had to rate this album on a scale a one to ten, what I would rate this album right here. Basically, what I would rate this album, I would rate this album a ten out of ten. on the rating scale because this album right here this album right here is a classic it's a classic and if you don't have this album right here and you are a Wu-Tang Clan fan or even if you're not a Wu-Tang Clan fan but you're a ghostly killer fan or you're just or you're just a fan of real hip hop. I would highly recommend you getting this album because this album is a classic. Now, they don't sell this album right here up 
music stores anymore, obviously, because it came out like 10 years ago. So, if you wanted to purchase this album, you can buy it from ordering it on ebay.com or you can order it on amazon.com. That's www.ebay.com and www.amazon.com. Those are the websites you can find this album on and purchase this album on and pre pre order this album on. Not pre order it, but order this album on. I want to thank y'all for watching today's video and have a wonderful day.